Hey guys, so this video we're going to take a quick look at this NQ Mega solar security camera. They were nice enough to send me this for free so I can make a video showing it to you. I want to go through all the parts and features with this guy and get it all set up. And I want to show you the video quality because of course that is very important with a security camera. Now, a couple of things that I really like right off the top with this guy. It's a PTZ camera, so pan, tilt, zoom. You're going to get the U-Box app and connect this camera to that app. And then from your phone, you're going to have this guy all mounted up. It can be wall mounted. It can be ceiling mounted. But from your phone, you're going to be able to go this way. You're going to be able to go this way. You're going to be able to go up. You're going to be able to go down. Also, this has a zoom, PTZ, but it's not just a digital zoom. Most of these cameras only have digital zoom, which creates distortion. It'll blur as you use the zoom. This has an optical zoom in conjunction with the digital. So we get up to 12x, but I believe it was 4x on just the optical. So we'll check that out, but you definitely like the optical zoom. That's better than the digital. So we got that guy. And then solar powered, we love that because we don't have to worry about running power out to it. Also, it connects to your Wi-Fi, so you don't have to have an ethernet cord or something going out there like if you've been around the sec the uh, security camera game for a while you used to have to run power out to the camera you'd have to run internet out to the camera you could put this thing out in a forest because it doesn't need anything tethered to it we're going to have the solar panel keeping it all charged up which by the way they also give you a regular power cable you should definitely give it a full charge before setting it up one thing to point out is we do kind of have a baby cord here it's a barrel connector on the end and it's kind of a short baby cord. I wish this was much longer so we had more options on where to mount it. For most people, this is probably fine. But there could be scenarios where it wouldn't be as fine. So just be aware that that's, that's a shorty cable you're getting. So we got the pan tilt zoom. We got solar. HD camera. Now if we go, look at this. If we go all the way down here. This is our slot for our micro SD card. That is not included. You need to get that separately, but it supports up to 128 gigabytes on the SD card. Over here, we have our little door for plugging in the solar panel on this side and then the door for our power. Let's get this guy open. You can see the on off switch is there. Make sure you have it turned on. And then the USB-C port for when we are charging uh, you know off an outlet but this also comes with a spotlight so we can have a security light come on when it detects motion did i tell you say it detects motion it detects motion have two-way audio we can talk to whoever's on the other side they can talk to us we can hear what they're saying has a little siren feature Lots of really cool stuff. And I love the PTZs because you set it up and then you can move it anywhere you need it. You don't have to actually unbolt or unscrew the camera from where you mounted it. You just get on your phone and you'll get notifications on your phone when there's an alert, uh, when there's motion detected. Really like it. So I already have it all charged up. We're going to go get it mounted, connect to the app, and see what we got going here. I have the camera mounted to a tree along the driveway. I wanted to show you the app so we can show you some of the features on it as you're looking at a live view of the camera. So, of course, we talked about the PTZ thing, and I can show you we can move the camera all over. It's kind of moving at an angle for me because I got it mounted goofy to a tree. We're all the way up. We can go down, look at the ground. Oh, see? Oh, there's the tree. Probably need to straighten it up some so we're not kind of swinging around. But see the other side of the driveway. Got the Jeep over there. And then we can zoom. See if we can get that zoom going. We can go over a little bit. There we go. Oh, oh, too far. Back out that zoom a little. So that was the pinch zoom. But there's also this zoom here at these bottom buttons. I can show you how difference of that looks and there you go using that you can change the brightness then if we take a look at our settings you can see I added a memory card in there you can also do cloud storage 
We can change the name of the device. We can flip the image if we need to. We can change how sensitive the detection is. You'll get a notification up in your notification bar when it detects um, motion. I did have some notifications listed there, but when I opened the app, it went away because it knew I opened the app. Recording duration, 30 seconds is the highest without going to full-time recording. We can turn the device alarm on and off. There is our very professional security camera set up there on the tree. Now let's see if the camera's going to catch this. I got the notification on my phone that we walked by. I have the alarm turned on, so I thought I'd come out here and let you guys hear it. It's not the loudest thing in the world, but I guess it would startle someone, or at least let them know there's a camera right there on them. I am noticing you have to play around with the sensitivity a little bit on this to, to dial it in to what you like. There's the high, medium, and low, but then there's also for human motion or not. Now let's see if we can get this thing to go off by walking by it. So you notice, at this setting, we don't have the alarm going off. And now it just got me. Now it got me. One thing about all of these motion sensor security cameras, they do better when something's going across their face. When you're going straight at it, it doesn't work nearly as well. Like, see if we get the extra the extra girth of rolling the trash can back with us if we can set off the motion detection. Again, there is three different levels. I don't remember which one I'm at now. Might be the lowest sensitivity. But depending where you put one of these cameras, sometimes you'll get a bunch of false alarms if there's a lot of traffic or even sometimes just like leaves from trees or birds. Did you hear it? It got us. So we just need to be a little bigger. It doesn't like uh, the motion detection of four feet tall people. <laughs> So you really got to plan out where you're going to put one of these cameras because if there's a ton of motion in front of it, uh, you'll drain the battery. The solar panel won't keep up with it. Also, if you're someone who's going to live view the thing all the time, solar panel's not going to keep it powered. It's not really meant to be live viewed 24-7. It's like more of a spot check kind of a deal. So there it is guys, the solar security camera. I'm going to end you with a couple of clips that I just pulled off of the camera so you can see the video quality. Thanks for watching.